The people who operated these became French Revolution celebrities. Hello, we are back in the Paris Police Museum and this is a terrifying killing machine. Oops, sorry, not him. This. This is one of the last surviving guillotines, which were best known for their use in France during the Reign of Terror. The guillotine was designed to make capital punishment more reliable and less painful. Which, yeah, I call rubbish on that one, it looks pretty painful to me. While the guillotine is most famous for its use during the French Revolution, similar machines, e.g. slightly knifey contraptions, had already been invented across Europe and had been in use for a good long while, like the Scottish Maiden in, you guessed it, Scotland from the 16th to 18th centuries, and the Planck in Germany. The guillotine reached new heights of popularity in France, though, that the people operating it became popular as well, with the executioners being judged on how well they used them, that they sort of became B-nibs or big names of beheadings. They would inspire fashion trends, people would chant their names in the streets, and there are even reports of some people getting tattoos of their names that said things like, my head goes to Diebler. The job also became a family business, like the famed Sanson family, who were responsible for some of the most iconic neck chops of the 18th century, including both Marie Antoinette and King Louis XVI. 